Howdy, y'all. Chilito and I are back with another indie game review. Today, we will review Democracy 4, the latest release from Posse Tech Games. At the end of the video, I'll let you know if I recommend this game for players like you and me who have limited time to play, what I call hobby players. Let's get started. Democracy 4 is a simulation strategy game that lets you take the role of president or prime minister a, and govern a real country by choosing its policies, laws, and other actions and both transform the country as you see fit while trying to retain enough popularity to get reelected. With mostly positive reviews on Steam after its release from Early Access on January 13th of this year, you would think this unique political simulation strategy game would be easy for me to review. However, despite all those positive reviews, Democracy 4, in my opinion, just doesn't live up to the hype. Now, no disrespect to the development team, but the game is a jumble of text, charts, arrows, and icons. And then you got background pictures thrown together just for good measure. Now, from the start of the game, the tutorial boxes fail to show you even the simplest way to play the game. Unless you have played the prior version of this game, or as one reviewer on Steam put it, you have to have an IQ of God, plus Einstein, plus all the developers combined, and then some, just to have 10% popularity by round two in this game. There is no way a beginner could even understand where to start playing the game. The user interface, if that's what you want to call it, lacks any sense of intuitiveness. You can stare at it for hours and not know how and what to do first, second, or third, or where to look for guidance. Each tab, navigation bar, icon you press sends you into a whirlwind of charts and graphs and paragraph and paragraph of freaking text. It's like I'm back at the university in one of my political science courses. And maybe that's the point of the game, to provide you with as much information as possible, but for what? To cause your brain to explode? That's an animation that should be included in the game. As if it's not enough... The game's major problem is the lack of an intuitive way to check how your choices are affecting the so-called neural network of thousands of virtual citizens. How can you, as a player, think strategically about what choices to make in any given turn in this game when you have no feedback prior to ending the turn? For example, I increase the taxes on the wealthiest population by a factor of, let's say, X. What effect does that have? The only feedback the game gives me for making any choice like that is a little place at the end of the slide that says, you will see the effects of this policy in X number of turns. What the hell? That's all I get. How am I going to make any decisions then? As a strategist, you normally want to know if you do X in a turn, Y or Z might happen. Like in chess, if I move this piece, here are the X number of moves that might happen in the end. This game does not lend itself to do that type of strategizing. Instead, it's more like, let me do X, Y, and Z, and let's just see what happens. That's not strategy. That's gambling. The longer I played, the more I found myself taking on the Let's see what happened approach. Now, there's no simple way of evaluating how you are progressing in the simulation. In other simulation games, there's a drop-down menu or the user interface or a report where you can easily access where you are in the progress towards your end goal, whatever that end goal might be. Democracy 4 does not provide you with anything remotely similar. You have to search through chart after chart, page after page of text and sliders to just try and understand if you are reaching your goal. Now, I believe in its most simplistic terms, 
democracy is a sliding scale, which this game has a fond for. On the one end, you have a totalitarian government. On the other end, you have a pure democratic government. Every country featured in the game falls somewhere on that sliding scale. The question is, is the goal of this game to try and govern the country you choose somewhere on that scale, or is the goal something else? And maybe that's the issue with the game. In the end, when the credits roll, what was the point? Howdy, Chilito. So what do you think of Democracy 4? How do you rate this game? Hey, JR. I have to say, Democracy 4 is a difficult one to place on the Chile scale. Not impending. It's not like other simulation games which have actual moving graphics, avatars, or an open world. This is more like a pick-your-own-storybook with thousands of different endings. Despite its unique character, here's what I think. Let's talk about gameplay. When it comes to gameplay, Democracy 4 gets a 4 Chiles rating. This is because I'm not sure if what Democracy 4 offers is gameplay in the traditional sense. There are no characters to move on the screen with a mouse, keyboard, or controller. There are no pieces to place on a map. Instead, the game, I think, is trying to guess how the neural network of virtual citizens will react to the different choices you make. For graphics, I have to give the game seven chiles. It has its own artistic flair. The graphics are all presented in mostly 2D stills, with some minor animations thrown in. But it fits the game. Like I said, I see the game as a digital pick-your-own storybook, so the artistic style fits. Now, features. It's hard to rate features in this game. Because I want to say there's really none of the traditional game features like more difficult bosses, harder campaigns, special animations, specific moves or counter moves. What the game claims are features are things like media reports, coalition governments, emergency powers, three-party systems, and a more sophisticated simulation that handles inflation, corruption, and modern policy ideas. Ah, my head is exploding! Democracy 4 deserves 4 chiles. Woo! Finally, the story. I have to give the story 8 chiles. The one thing this game does right is tell a story. The player's story as the leader of a country who makes choices that affect the game's neural network of virtual citizens. Democracy 4 is as, at its core, a digital pick-your-own storybook. Like a book, it tells a story. Overall, JR, Democracy 4 gets a rating of 5 chiles. As a video game, it's the chipotle of simulation games. It's spicy, but not too spicy. You did it again, Chilito. Your Chile rating system could not be more accurate. Thanks, JR. See you next time. There you have it, folks. A 5 Chile rating. I have to agree. Democracy 4 is a middle-of-the-road game. It's an indie game not designed for the masses. It's unique, but that uniqueness makes it unreachable for the majority of simulation strategy game players. That's why I can't recommend it for hobby players like myself. At the end of the day, for a hobbyist video game player, there are other simulation strategy games that guide you straight into the action right out of the digital box. So what did you think about Democracy 4? 
Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with this review. If you enjoyed the content and found value in it, please smash the like button. It does help us get the video in front of more people. For more reviews, tutorials, and Let's Play videos, subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you as a member. To be notified when we upload new content, click on the bell icon below. Thanks again for watching. Adios.